I'm Veronica Belmont. Welcome to Techzilla. Hands-on reviews of the latest tech and how to make the most out of the gear you've already got. Whether you're a beginner or a tech support for your friends and family, if you've got a question about tech or the best breakfast cereal on the planet, we've got an answer for you. And if we don't, we'll track down someone who does. I see you got the We're, email I know. message. We're like opposites today. We're rocking. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until we both got in here at we the same time. We both looked at the like, wait <laughs> a minute. We didn't plan this at all. Waffle undershirts and t-shirts. Tech, you know. huh? If you're thinking about buying a new PC, you might want to wait until the first day of CES. It's a couple weeks from now. That'd be January 7th, 2010 to be exact. Because Intel announced last week that they'd be announcing a pretty broad range of parts for 2010. Basically, well, to you that means faster top-end processors and reduced prices on all the parts available now. We're talking 27 parts, 17 processors, 3 chipsets, 7 wireless chipsets. The most interesting thing to me, HD graphics for the chipset. Like the, the horrible graphics on Intel chipsets, well, they're coming out with HD graphics, which promises Blu-ray playback from Intel GPUs, along with Dolby True HD and DTS. HD, it just, DTS HD Master Audio does not flow from the tongue, but basically pass through for those over HDMI uh, and a decent uh, Windows 7 graphics experience. Uh -huh. So some oomph, if you will, right? The new processors, Core i3 on the low end, Core i5 in the mid, Core i7 on the high end will be on the 32 nanometer process. They have the factories built. They invested billions. They're hammering out chips right now. So the, 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 uh, what do they call that? The, the, not the fab, not the line, not the end vendor, the channel. The channel is full. Basically, four, they're like, we have a bazillion design channel. wins to talk about. And basically, there's a whole lot of parts out there, a whole lot of machines that are going to be shipping January 7th. And like I mentioned, you can always expect to cut in the pricing on older models with the slate of new chips hitting the street. Fantastic. I almost want to build a new PC, except my Core i7 box. I just dropped an SSD drive into it. Yeah. Because I want the smoking operating system speed. Roger like bought an SSD for his Nintel X25M, mm -hmm. and he just like for every day he'd be like, "Dude, my machine boots so fast." And then he'd go to work, <laughs> and then later on he'd lean over from his computer, fast. Yeah, mine's faster. I know the SSDs are wicked fast. Wicked I mean, fast. That's kind of what they do. <laughs> but, you know, I want to build a new gaming PC as well, so Ooh. maybe now would be a, a good time to start planning out that process. Where's Lloyd and Jason? I know. We will build you the machine of the gods. Oh, 